Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review, demo, swatches, and two eye looks using the brand new Natasha Denona Zendo palette. But before we get started, I'm going to be here. I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this new eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona and these two eyeshadow looks, then just keep on watching. Today we're here to talk about the latest release from Natasha Denona, the Zendo palette. This comes in her midi size, which is the one that costs $65. She has different sizes. The common size, it costs $129. Then she has a couple 28 pound palettes. Those were her first releases. There's also the Metropolis palette, which is another format. And then also the Star palette, another format. But anyhow, friends, this is my preferred size. And this is the fifth of its kind. She started with the Sunrise palette a couple of years ago. And anyhow, the Zendo palette comes after the mini Zendo palette. This was released last year. We're gonna go through comparison swatches, and I shall look. I don't know how many eyeshadow looks. I may have already put it on the title of my video, but this baby right here appeared on Natasha Denona's website as a pre-sale last week. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will highly suggest you to do so because right there I keep you posted whenever there's a new launch, a new upcoming release, and whatnot. And we just you know get going with the news of what's going on on the beauty industry. So I went ahead and pick it up from Natasha Denona's website. Right now, it is available also on Sephora's website. We're going to also see it on other retailers very soon. Again, I will be leaving all the details on the description box for your convenience. But anyhow, my friends, this palette, again, costs $65. It comes with 15 different shades. It's made in Italy. It has a shelf life of 24 months and a weight of 19.25 grams. Other things to know about this palette is that it is free of mineral oil, free of preservative, free of UV filters, paraben free, alcohol free, and is non-tested on animals. Okay friends, so let's take a peek of how it looks on the inside. And here it is the palette. I really love the bronze color, a little bit more brown in tone, and there you go. There are all the shades right there. They are very pretty. We have pretty much a very neutral warm tone palette with a mix i mean this is more than a pop of blue it has more blue tones and then it has this minty green right here and then this army green i'm gonna go through swatches in a little the palette comes with a nice size mirror and then on the back these palettes right here they have pink holes so you can poke in a needle or something pokey toothpick whatever it is and pop out your shades so if you want to rearrange them or mix them i mean you can get creative and do whatever you want with that this palette is also well inspired by that zen kind of like you know meditation kind of mood and the elements which are earth fire wood metal and water and i mean i can see pretty much everything right here i mean Metal, there's so many metals from copper, silver, and so many more, but I think these have that earthy vibe. There's again, those warm tones, and then a little bit of that cool tone integrated to it. You see this kind of like between army and mossy green in there that, I mean, I think it's a well-rounded palette, and this is also her summer release, summer 2021 collection. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the palette row by row. Mindful Cream Powder Medium Cinnamon Luster Metallic Bronze Gold Balance Creamy Matte Light Medium Caramel Flow Metallic Medium Silver Blue Teal Mantra Cream to Powder Medium Greenish Teal Aura Medium Golden Orange Red Duochrome Vigor Creamy Matte Medium Muted Red Coral hmm. That one didn't swatch the best. Don't know why. Let me build it up right here. Relief. Creamy matte. Light medium pink coral. Equilibrium. Metallic. Medium dark silver teal. Breath. Cream to powder. Pastel mint. Sense metallic pink copper. 
Tranquil Metallic Light Warm Rose Calm Cream to Powder Pastel Peach Yama Duochrome Light Peach Bronze with Green Reflex Zeal Creamy Matte Dark Dusty Army Green Scott Barnes number 62 brush in the shade Relief and I'm applying this shade above the crease Sigma E42 brush and the shade Mantra. I'm applying this shade right on the crease and then taking it on my outer V. Isum G27 brush and the shade Breath. I'm applying this shade from the inner portion of my eyelid all the way to the middle of my eyelid. Sigma E27 brush and the shade Equilibrium. Taking this shade on the outer V. I'm just having a little bit of fallout with that shade. Refer to brush and the shade Relief. Taking this shade on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna intensify it a little bit right here too. Brush. Sonia G Flat Definer and the shade Mantra. And I'm taking this shade and applying it on my lower lash line. Refer O3 brush and the shade Yama. And I'm applying this shade on the inner corner and also on my brow bone. Done with this eye look right here. I just put a little bit of liquid liner, also a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline and mascara, and that's it. I will be leaving all the details of the products that I'm using again on that description box below. Now let's go to the second eye look. Big Eye Beauty 202 brush and the shade Calm. And I'm applying this shade above the crease. Sonia G Mini Booster and the shade Vigor. And I'm gonna apply this shade right on my crease. Sigma E27 brush and the shade Zeal. And I'm applying this shade on my outer V. Isum G27 brush and the shade Mindful. And I'm applying this shade almost to the outer third and almost to the middle, right there. <laughs> Blending it in with that army green shade Zeal. Sigma 253 brush and the shade Yama. And I'm applying this shade from the inner portion of my eyelid all the way until it meets with that shade Mindful. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that same shade but wet. Definitely wet, you will get that payoff from this duochrome shade. BK Beauty 204 brush and the shade Balance. And I'm taking this shade on my lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer in the shade Zeal. And I'm applying this shade very close to my lower lashes. Sonia G Flat Definer in the shade Mindful. And I'm applying the same shade but on the very front of my lower lashes. Sigma E30 brush in the shade Yama. I'm applying this shade on my inner corner and also on my brow bone. Jumping now into comparisons. So I have here Zendo, this is Sunrise and this is Bronze. I wanted to show it to you that they are, I mean, all into those warm covers, but not identical. And now let's go into the comparisons. Let's compare now Zendo and Sunrise. Honestly, there's not much to compare right here, but let's go with the shade Vigor. And this kind of has created a little bit of like a hard pump right here. I don't know why. Okay, let's do Vigor right here, and then let's go with Luster. And I'm gonna go here to Clove and Day Spring. Let's also go for Calm and Morgan. Calm is definitely more coral tone than Morgan. Morgan is more peachy. Zendo and bronze palette. Let's go for Yama. 
for bliss right here and then let's try glowing let's do luster and true bronze let's go for balance and then santan i have here the zendo palette and the safari palette now safari palette is all matte shades but I was thinking to try the shade Zeal from Zendo and then let's go for Sabana. Sabana it's a little bit more green in tone. Then we have Zendo and Tropic. Honestly I mean Tropic I think it's discontinued. I couldn't find it anywhere. If I find it somewhere I will make sure to put it in the description box below but honestly I think Zendo it's a lot deeper. Tropic it's a lot more vibrant. I don't think there's much I like to it. Yeah let's just forego this one right here. Honestly there's there's not much. Let's move on and compare Zendo with Gold Palette. And this one right here is the one that really got me like, okay, I don't know why, but Scent is giving me just a little bit of the vibe of gold palette, mostly because the teal shades. So let's go first with Mantra. This shade right here. Then I'm gonna go to Equilibrium. And then with this shade over here. And since I have you here, I'm gonna go to the shade flow. Just put it down below. Right there. Sendo and Metropolis. Let's go first with Mantra. Then this is more of like a green, green shade. And then this is a lot more deep. Then regardless, I'm gonna swatch this right here. The one up here is really blue. As far as the other eyeshadows from Metropolis, I think they will complement really well Zendo, but there's not much of like similarities. I mean, I I understand we see a lot of like warm tones right here, but there's enough difference in between both of them. I mean, there's just very, very like a slight similarities. Perhaps one more will be the shade Mindful with this last shade right here. I want to put it, oh my goodness, I forgot. Okay, <laughs> let's put it right over here. There we go. And then lastly, let's talk about mini Zendo versus big Zendo. <laughs> mini Zendo right here. This one is a lot more cooler in tone. I really don't think there's much similarities. I think they complement really well right here. And therefore, I think I mean, on my final thoughts, I will cover these, but I think if we had already these, she could extend more the cooler tones on this palette. I don't know, but yeah, there's, yeah, there's no similarities right here. And even take a little bit more of that beautiful silver shade, pewter shade, and you know, continue it on this palette. I'm like, <laughs> continue right here. Anyhow, friends, yeah, there's, I mean, they are different. They are different. They can be companions, but they are different. It's also important to know that all the eyeshadows from the new Zendo palette, they are actually new. They are not repeated shades, although we will find some similarities, but they are all new shades. Okay, my friends, let's go into my final box. Now that we have gone through all the details about this new Zendo palette by Natasha Denona, let's just start first with the color story. I think she has achieved what she wanted it, and it really represents all the five elements. 
Yet, I will have to say that this palette leans a lot more warmer in tone. You have a lot more neutrals, making it very user-friendly and not too adventurous. But since in this case, she gave us that pop of blue, but she gave us not only one blue or two blues, she gave us a little bit more with kind of these teal tones and the greens right here. She could have implemented something a little bit more silver, a little bit more cooler tone, two other shades right here. I think it was needed instead of having, you know, similar shades right here. Not that they are identical because they are not at all, but what I'm saying is like she could have given us just two more and complete the palette and be kind of like half cool tone and truly half warm tone. That is my personal opinion, but obviously I'm not the artist here and this is her inspiration. And honestly, as soon as I saw the palette and the color story, I was like, that's mine. That has to be mine. Now talking about formulation, I honestly was really concerned when swatching these eyeshadows. Not all of them, but some of them like the shade Vigor, the shade Calm. Uh, the swatches were very, very underwhelming. And also to touch, some of them they feel dry. Although they are creamy formulation, they didn't feel as creamy as the ones on Metropolis and some of them even a little bit powdery and I'm like that's not typical from Natasha I mean we have seen you know inconsistencies on other palettes but at the end the performance you know it's there is good and in fact in purpose I ended up using the shades that when swatching them they give me a little trouble and here is to say that you know do not guide yourself by a swatch but until you don't put it on your eyes and blend it then you can judge to me the palette performed really well but i will have to say that i was really surprised by this shade calm for some reason i don't know if you see it on the pan you know that i'm very very delicate at you know like tapping into my eyeshadows it looked like first hit a little bit of pan, then I felt that it was a little bit crumbly. Anyhow, when I applied it on my eyelid, I didn't have any fallout. But for example, on this shade right here, I did have fallout. So I will have to say for this palette in particular, I will suggest to do first your eyeshadow and then go ahead and do your full face of makeup because I don't know if you can see it right here that I have some sort of shading. I do have very dark under eye circles that they are bluish in tone, but because of the fallout, you know, these got a little bit more emphasized. Not a big deal for me, but now knowing how to treat this palette, I will go first with my eyeshadow look and then I will go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. And I know the question right here from you is gonna be, will you recommend it? I say, yes, it does perform well. Going with the premise that again, I will say, you know, go with your eyeshadow look before, you know, doing your base. That will be a little bit easier, you know, to control any fallout. Will this be the same, same exact formula as Metropolis? No, I find some of them, they were a little bit more dry. Some of them very creamy. Like this one right here was like, wow, super creamy. At the end, it didn't give me trouble. I didn't, you know, I wasn't here like an hour and a half, two hours trying to make something where right. not at all. So in performance, it's good. Now, do you need it? Nobody needs more makeup, but if you don't have any Natasha Denona palettes, and, or if you don't have, for example, the gold palette or the bronze palette or the sunrise palette, and you want this little bit of color, you know, combination that is not too loud, not too out there, I mean, this is a beautiful palette. And I think this makes up for this video. Let me know if you ended up picking up this palette right here, if it's on your wish list, or perhaps you already have got it, what you think about it, and let Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. While you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye!